Next morning, the sky was grey. Sleep had failed to clear my head. Although I was sure I'd done the right thing the night before, I felt a rat, a traitor. Good morning, camaradas. Listen our morning news. Leader of friendly Soviet army helped Nogovo live in peace and prosperity. Colonel Alexei Vasilievich Guba meet today with new President Ostrovsky and his colleagues. Meeting take place in friend and peace atmosphere. Tavarish Ostrovsky a great name new socialist government within week. He agreed that new election are take place before end of the year. Comrade Guba informed Comrade Ostrovsky. Soviet army has total control of situation. Has already defeated some attempts by terrorist group to violate the place and friendship between Nogovo and Soviet Soyuz. Comrade Ostrovsky thanked Comrade Guba and said he had already asked Western governments to stop support illegal groups in Nogovo that are Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? One, two, three. Uh, yes. I think you can hear me now. This is... This is... Tasmanian Devil. Good afternoon, everyone. Don't worry about who I am. Just listen, because I'm here to give you the truth. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep going before some coward stops me, but you need to know they're feeding you lies. The resistance movement is getting stronger and stronger as I speak. The occupation forces must leave our island. Our only hope is to fight. Join the resistance now. You know where to go. This is a call for help. This is a, a call for hope. Peter, have you been listening? Who is he, that Tampanian devil? Tasmanian. Tom. Tasmanian. I have no idea that he's playing a dangerous game. He's talking about that forest, isn't he? That's why they're based, the resistance. We should go, right? Show me the map. It's somewhere around D2, I think. I guess we have to go. We can't just leave things as they are. Victor, should I go for the car? We can get some guns and- Hold on a minute. You have a family, don't you? So maybe you- Who's that running this way? Anton, from Dolina. Anton, what's happened to you? <laughs> we tried. We attacked a Soviet convoy, but they... they... We were sitting dogs. What? Soviets? Did they follow you? No, I think they... I, I think I... Damn. Okay. We can't give in to them. But you can't stay here either. Why not? Hide him here in your house, and the Soviets won't find him. That's madness! Soviets! The Russians are coming! Anton, hide in the tool shed. Quickly! No. He can't stay here. Come on, Victor! We don't have time! We know the person is somewhere here. 
he was running this way. You help us or we punish you. So what? You speak or not? Смирно, товарищ полковник. Мы ищем повстанца. Мы точно знаем, что он прячется где-то здесь, но местные жители отказываются сотрудничать. Вольно. What's this? You don't want to cooperate with us? Surely you understand that by helping a criminal you becoming criminals yourselves? Where is he? This is your last chance. I'm sorry, Colonel, sir, but we didn't see anybody. We're not rebels, we just live here. As you wish. Corporal, you've seen how this man has tried to attack me? He's dangerous, a lunatic. And a rebel, for sure. Kill him. Товарищ полковник, я... Corporal, show some imagination, please. For God's sake, stop this. You can't... Of course I can, you idiot. Corporal, execute one of them every minute. That's an order. And you? One more word, and you'll be the first to die. People were dying in front of my home. I knew I had a shotgun hidden behind the house, but what could I do with it? The choice. Standing in line, waiting for the bullet. I had only two options. Reveal where the rebel was hiding, or somehow break out of line, grab the shotgun, and stop the bloodshed. Gentlemen, surely we can come to some kind of arrangement. No rebels here, I assure you. Shut it, you bastard. Should find the resistance. Where were they? Wait, I remember. In the forest at map reference D2. Yes.
Join group. Helicopter, 200 meters. Back. Ready. Two. Danger. Copy. Two. Fall back. Ready. Well go. Changing mag! Spec off, 75 meters, left!